This is a quick tutorial on how to use Smart Music Now both to practice and to submit your assignments. Once you've logged in, Smart Music looks like this. On the left side, you're going to see all of the information about the assignments that I have given to you to complete. These are playing assignments. You'll also see on the other side content that you can search for. You can find all sorts of other music. And down here on the other side, you'll find your method book. You'll be able to very quickly find essential elements, and it'll always be there for you. I can click it, and then I can choose my instrument, which should fill in automatically, and I can pick the song that I want to practice. Here we go. Let's do number 23 first. I'll click Open. Often, Smart Music will ask, can I use your microphone? You must allow it to, otherwise it won't be able to hear you. Click Allow. All right, now I'm ready to practice once. I'll click the Play button, and then that will allow me to play along and practice. It won't listen to me, it'll just allow me to practice. If I want it to grade me and give me an idea, am I doing it all right, I'll have to choose something different. You can also take off things like the background music and just leave the metronome on, or you could let it play for you what it should sound like. You can hear that as long as my part is turned on. You can use that to get a sense for what your song should sound like. If you ever don't know how to play a note, you can just click it and it'll remind you when you press the dots. Ah, that's how I play it. This is available on all instruments. Whenever you're done and you want to go back to the home page, just click the house in the corner and it'll bring you right back to home. If you wanted to complete your assignment, you'll need to click the assignments and do. Here is the very first assignment I have and we'll click it. The next step is to press complete assignment. I'll click it. Make sure that you have the correct instrument selected. If it's clarinet, it is B flat clarinet. Click OK. And now this is a reminder of the number of possible points you can earn for this. We'll click close. And when we're ready, we'll hit record. I strongly recommend that you use headphones whenever you try to record. It'll make sure that smart music only hears your sound and not the background music or the metronome clicking. It'll guarantee that you have a higher score. Next, when you click record, it's going to ask you to do a couple of things. First, click select this mode and device. It's already on the correct settings. Next, you'll have to unplug your headphones for a moment and make sure the volume is turned on. So I'll make sure my volume is up. I'm gonna unplug my headset. And we'll proceed to test. This is how Smart Music can check to see if it hears the microphone. There we go. If it hears it correctly, then you're ready to go. If not, you might need to adjust your volume so that it's loud enough that your microphone can hear. Next, you can plug your headphones back in and you're ready to record. Click Start and it'll count you off. If you're happy with that take, 
you can click the button Submit on the top, and that will send it to me. You don't need to add a comment, just click Submit. Now, remember, whatever percentage that Smart Music gives you, you can safely ignore that. When I listen to it, I'll be able to tell you how well you did based on the rubric that we talked about in class. You can click Close, and you're done submitting your first assignment on Smart Music. Good job.